Today is the weekly stamping clip and the theme is anything, any stamping plates you want. So it's kind of like a free for all this week. I hope you enjoy it. Links to everyone's videos will be in the description box. And joining us this week is Nerdy Creations, Never Naked Nails Nail Art, Jenny Stone, Judinka Nail Art, Girly Nails 66, and this is my design. Now I'll show you how I created it. Let's get started. I will be using Maxis Finito Quick Dry Top Coat and the Maxis Strengthening Base Coat. Maxis is my favorite brand for top and base coats. If you'd like to try this out, I do have a discount code for you. These are my Maniology favorites. I use them all the time while I'm stamping. So we have the Ice Cube Stamper, the Sticky Base Coat, and the Smudge Free Top Coat. I have a discount code with Maniology in case you're interested. Okay, so first I'm going to start out with Basis. Oh, jeez, Basis. <laughs> Maxis Base Coat. And I'll apply that to all of my nails before I start polishing them. Next, I'm going to apply Trini Glaze. New Year, New Boo. And this is one of my favorite blues. And I'm feeling really bad because this is like the third Manny in like three weeks that I've used it on. But, maybe four weeks. But I love this color blue. And I just... I looked through my collection and I just couldn't find one that I wanted to use any better than this one. So oh, I'm stuck with this one again. Okay, so now I am just applying New Year, New Boo. And this one is a one coater, so you only need one coat. I might add two just because a thicker look sometimes is kind of nice. I have two coats on my fingers. I didn't need two coats, but I like the way it looks in two coats. So the stamping plate I'll be using today is this Powder Perfect Christmas 02 stamping plate. I really like this stamping plate. Unfortunately, it is no longer available. And I'm sorry I keep using it, but it's like one of my favorites. And I'll be using this image right here. Right there. <laughs> and I'll be using this image right here. The stamping polish I'll be using is by Moira, and I'm using this because I think it will get in the grooves of the little white snow dots a lot better than anything else. I'm going to use white on the trees and the snowflakes. I actually decided to use these snowflakes over here and what you're going to want to do is put the polish on and lightly scrape it and then just firmly push down and that gets the best pickup. So here we have the snowflakes and the tree. Now I'm going to add the sticky base coat to the nails that I'll be stamping on and then I'm going to wait a minute and a half and that will make the stamped image stick better to the nail. Okay, so it's been a minute and a half. I'm just going to stick those trees down there. Then I realized, oh, I probably should put the snowflakes on first. But that's okay because it's all white. I don't think it really is going to matter. Well, hi there. Ooh, that looks really cute. I like it. 
And I'm going to do the same thing to this finger. There we go. And now I'm just going to clean up the edges with this corrector pen and it's dipped in my Zoya polish remover. Now I'm just going to make sure there's no glue showing at the tip. Okay, the next part, I'm going to put the smudge-free top coat over the top of the nails that have been stamped on. And this just keeps the stamping from smudging while I'm putting a top coat over it. I did find this fun little polish. From Sally Hansen. It's called Snow It Fun and it is a water globe <laughs> um, polish bottle thing here. Um, I actually really love water globes, so I thought I need this. And besides, I really like a white glitter polish. So, what you do is you just shake this up. And then all the little stuff swirls around in there. I can't imagine what some people think when they see that weird little glitter just sitting at the bottom of a polish bottle and think, what that kind of polish is that? If they don't really know what it's about. But I think this is super cool and unique. I really like the white because that, to me is just really snow globey looking. So I'm going to use this today. I'm putting my Maxis Finito on over all of the nails. There's kind of an issue <laughs> with if you use too many brush strokes on that um, Sally Hansen polish, it's going to come off on the brush. So I'm just protecting the polish under Neath from getting on the brush and transferring into my my snowflake bottle, my snow globe bottle. So just putting a nice coat of this on over the top of that, and then when that dries, we can put snowflakes on. A little trick to using this snowy stuff here. Um, it's made to just be like like a light topper so it doesn't have a lot of glitter in there it's got a lot of base so kind of tricky to get it on your fingers you pretty much have to shake it a lot to get the glitter, you can't just stick it back in the box because it kind of settles pretty fast. Okay, there we go. And I wanted to put a few on here. Okay. <laughs> Have to shake it up. But I guess that's the the payoff for it being snow globey. Probably could sponge it on.
There we go. Okay, that looks pretty good. And now for the pinky finger. I'll just shake it up again. But overall, if they could figure out how to not get so much of it in here. I really like the really like the overall look of it. Hold on. <laughs> I have to shake this thing a lot. Wow. All right, hold on. Maybe now I'll have enough on my just kind of runs right off. Okay. There's a lot on there, it seemed to be stuck in the brush. I'm not wanting to come off too easy. Here we go. There, I think that looks exactly how I wanted it. So now I'm just going to smooth over the glitter with another coat of the Maxis top coat. So I really like how this came out. It's a really fun, the Sally Hansen topper is really fun for a snow topper, but I also like those extra shapes in there. So it'll look good in a bunch of other manis that I'll probably be using in the future. But this came out exactly how I wanted it to. I hope you guys like how it turned out. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not one of my subscribers, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.